We're here at the Northwest New Jersey Club Hive, Mentoring Hives, and Bob and I are looking over them. Two of them are really weak out of winter, and we're going to make some adjustments today. So these are the two I was up here last week, and this one on the end and the tall one here had only one frame of bees on there. Now I saw the queen in here, and I saw cap brood, and I saw eggs, so I knew she was laying, but she only laid a patch about this big, because that's all the bees that could cover. So, you know, you hear that all the time. She's never going to lay more than the bees can, can cover. And that was absolutely true. It's the smallest cluster I've ever seen. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take this one and we're going to put it into a nuke. And we're going to take that one and we're going to put that one into a nuke. The rest of them we're going to go in and just see what they look like. So when we do the splits presentation next week, we'll have a, a pretty good idea of what we've got up here. Yeah, and you and I, Bob, talked about these hives and whether or not they were viable. Usually if they're that small coming out of winter, you might want to do it. But our objective is just to have bees to put in a booth for our fall. We're not really looking for nectar flow and things like that or honey storage or whatever. So if they're not the strongest colonies, that's not our major concern. So that's a great point, Kevin. So this one here I'm going to use for Earth Day next week for the observation hive. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple frames of honey on the outside, a frame of pollen and maybe an empty frame or the brood frame in the middle, just enough to, uh, to keep them going. Right, so if you have uh, hives that are weak coming out of summer or w out of winter, you might, you know, change your objective and let those hives go down and requeen with some vigorous queens. So we came so. around the front to smoke this hive, and I noticed that there's a lot of wax cappings here. Now, I was up here last week, and these cappings weren't here. It was clean. So my fear, just in looking at this now, is that it's been robbed out or being robbed out. And I wonder if that one frame of bees that I saw up in the top box last, uh, last week is still there. So we'll open it up and we'll take a look. First, I'll give it a little smoke down here. A little smoke under the outer cover. Take it off. Uh, see, this was a piece of uh, honey, honeycomb actually, that I left. It broke off when we were here last week. I left it up here and they haven't touched it. This is some of the fondant that I put up here for insurance toward the end of the year. So they had plenty of food. So the question is, why was the is the cluster so small? You know, obviously they dwindled down to a low number. So I think what you have to think about is there weren't enough healthy winter bees going into the winter. And so what happened, the bees that you had in here in the fall, they lived out their lifespan and they just weren't long-lived bees. We didn't have enough of those good, young, vigorous winter bees. Fortunately, I think, and we'll find out, we had enough to at least keep the queen alive. So we'll, we'll see. Don't see a lot of bee activity. But then again, with one frame of bees, you can't expect too much. All right, there they are. They're still up here. Okay. I'm going to take this fondant off today, too. Now, I left the frame feeder, and I want to pull that today. I was telling Kevin before, it was interesting, last week when I was up here, I pulled three of the frame feeders that I left in all winter. I wasn't feeding. I just left them in place. And the frame adjacent to it was all covered with mold. So why don't we pull that one out and we'll see what we've got. Let's see if this one is moldy too. Really tight. I, I actually I squeezed it in with nine frames, believe it or not. <laughs> you can't get a whole a lot tighter than that. It's about as wedged as you get. There you go. Actually, I see a little mold on there. Pull it out, we'll take a look at it. Let's put the frame holder here so you can see it. So this is where the cluster is, or was last week, right here. It was that small patch of brood. So I, I want to be careful going there, but we can take this first frame out. So there you see a little bit of... Uh, no, that's actually down to the foundation yeah, it's there. Just down the foundation. So it's not moldy now. A couple of dead bees. Right in here. Head first. Yeah. And uh, a lot of honey. Lots of honey. Lots of honey. 
So you can see this this hive didn't starve to death, that's for sure. The next frame is full of honey too. Yep. Alright, so what we want to do, let's close this up so for a while. I think what I'm gonna do is move the whole brood nest over. And then we can take a look at it. Maybe I'll leave that to the end. Look at some of these other frames, and you'll you'll see again. This hive is just loaded with. It's heavy. Yeah, every with, frame is loaded with honey. With honey, here, look at this. So it's no surprise that yeah, it'll this, get robbed. This, this, this frame is. I mean, that's all nice wet cappings. Probably. You can see they're starting to, to eat it here, right? Yeah. Probably fall honey. I would you get some warm days, and and this hive will go to town. And you can see, I can see already. Next frame, they're coming. They're getting it. This is being robbed, that's for sure. That's why we see all this activity. And you did see the wax cappings on the thing. That's what's going on here. So the cluster's doing their thing over in the corner here. And the other part of the hive is being robbed out by the fellow hives sitting next to it. Because you see here, through the hole. Why don't we pull it out and show that? This next frame's where the, where the chewing is going. You can, yeah, see, you can they're, see some right at the top here. Yeah, they're working here on capping and taking what's available. They've already cleaned this side out and they're working their way down. There's a spot. So So how do you know this is robbing? Okay? Because of the ragged yep. edges as they're tearing the caps off. They're just coming in and they're reckless abandon. Yep, okay, it's so not clean. Nope. So at least it's going. There's a lot of honey in this. Well, you might as well feed the bees. Look at this frame. <laughs> no wonder why they didn't eat the fondant, right? Yeah. <laughs> now we know. Okay, so I was in here last week, and when I saw this small cluster, I actually found the queen right on it. Where else would she be? And uh, I marked her. So she was from last year, so I marked her with a yellow, uh, a yellow spot rather than a red, which is really for this year. Let's see what we've got. and pollen. Yep. So again, I want to take as many of these bees as I can with her, so I'll take that frame and put that on the outside. Now this is where I expect to find her. We should see some brood. I saw capped brood. I saw eggs last week. I see some capped brood already. But there you go. This is it. Now she should be on this frame somewhere. Keep an eye out and see if we can't find her. There, there she, she is. is. Yep, oh, her mark came off. Yep, they were chewing the mark off of her. Yeah. You want to? Look, I think we should mark her again. Sure. Because I want to use her in the observation hive next week. Yep. Okay, so, so there she we is. We're going to see if we can't coax her in into here. Of course, she's not going to want to go. Go ahead, okay. Kevin. Give her a little push. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Luckily, she can't fly. Yeah, give her a little push in there. Got her. Oh, she, she flew pretty good yeah, for a yeah. Yeah. queen. Okay, so I'm gonna put that frame back, try to keep those bees warm, warm as much as we can. So you can see she's she slipped over and she'll walk on that, and then you could just push her up tight against. Not squish her, of course. I'm holding in one hand and filming with the other, so. Okay, we've got flow. I'll hand this back to you. Okay. So what we do is we just gently push her up in the top and we get her right on the thorax. Not too much. And then we just let her dry for a minute. So there she is. No none the worse none the worse for the wear. They're all wondering where she is. Yeah. So let's just we'll put her down. I want to make sure she dries well because I'm not sure that she did last time and maybe that's why it wore off. We could have chewed it off her. Open it up and put her back on that brood frame. So again, this is this is the only brood that's in this entire hive. I mean it is a tiny little patch, but if you look down at the bottom, there's young uncapped larvae every stage and there's actually some eggs down there as well so she's still laying some more Let's see if we can zoom in on that okay. we can go 
get some focus. I, you could clearly see all the eggs in there. You know what I see is, oh no, it's good. Sun could be a little better today. There it turn, goes. That turn might, it, yeah, that there might you help, go. right? Of course, the camera's in the shade, but I think I got it. So, pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to put her back on this frame. Here, I'll hold the frame for you. She'll be anxious. She'll go right back, and they'll be happy to have her. Come on. So there she is. Okay, nicely marked for the uh, for Earth Day next week. And we're going to put her over in this nuke. This one's got a little bit of... Yeah, they're going to collide. <laughs> They'll chew that off, though. Yep. Uh, let's see what else. I mean, these are full frames of honey. What you usually do when you give them a, a nuke is you make sure that one of the frames... Oh, yeah. So there's some crystallized honey. Okay. Now, this may have been honey that wasn't capped going into the winter and crystallized. They will clean that out though when they get hungry enough. Here, a little bit looks like a little robbing went on over here. Yep, and they chewed all this here. Yeah. So there must have been honey there that they uncapped. Yeah. That's likely all the stuff that we see. So let, let's go into the bottom box and see what we've got down there. So you want to, Let's close this nuke up though. We'll put yeah. That's a really good idea. Keep them warm. So it's about 60 degrees today. As you can see, it's uh, partly sunny, actually mostly cloudy. Every once in a while, we get a peak of sun. It's a little breezy so, too. It's, I wouldn't say it's a windy day, but there is a you know, probably a 10 mile an hour wind. I'm sure it's showing up on the microphone here as it blows across it. So anyway, um, you know, when you're working with the bees here, you don't want to chill the brood. You got to make sure you put it away and keep it covered up and let them keep it warm. Let's see what we got going in the bottom box. You can see here the cappings that are coming off from them raiding the box. And this is what we're seeing at the entrance. Yeah, we've got a, a frame they didn't even draw. Yep. One of my foundation lists. They yep. started. Yeah, one little, one little <laughs> blurb. <laughs> yep. Uh, this one, another nasty looking uh, frame. So this one had foundation. Looks like they chewed a bit of it. They never really drew it out. Although, there's some pollen on that frame. Yeah. Yeah, up in here you see the orange. That's interesting that they're doing that. That is right underneath where the cluster was, right? So yeah. here's a, a frame that's starting to be built. This doesn't have much of anything on it. A little bit of honey. So again, it's, I guess we're pretty lucky that this thing survived. It didn't have, yeah, probably didn't have enough bees even going into the winter. Looks like you got a little queen cup there. Right here? Yep. And you got some more pollen storage. So, you know, they'll build queen cups just to have one around in case they need it. It doesn't mean necessarily that they're going to supersede the queen or that they're going to, you know, in this case, you would think it would be a supersedure cell since it's up here in the middle of the frame where your swarm cells are normally on the bottom. But this is nothing to be concerned about. They build them, they tear them down. They like to have them just in case they need it. Nice, uh, so this one had foundation in it because you can see the wires at the bottom, but they chew, looks like they chewed the foundation around the edge. Yeah. But it's a nice, nice uh, frame. Yeah, very, very, new, very too, straight. Well, I see some cappings from them robbing it out, fell down on it. So that's nice. It's nice to have some good drawn comb, and we'll use this. Put that one over here. It looks like you got the same thing on the next one. Again, empty. What do you see? Turn that one over for a sec. 
you see these uh, ones where there was brood at one point and it never got uncapped and still sits there. You see that every once in a while. I'm not sure why that, why they stay like that. Eventually somebody will come and clean that out when they you've reused this comb, but when you look at old comb it's not uncommon and again we see some more pollen storage in here. That's a nice thing. Same thing, pretty much an empty frame, a little bit of robbing, there was some honey on the side there. Still a little bit of uh, honey. Oh, a couple of. I was going to say, I thought I saw a hive beetle. No. Actually, with the pr the uh, problem that we had with hive beetles last year, I really didn't see any up here at all. You know, I had some in my home yard, um, but up here I never really saw even one. I think, if I can remember. We would definitely want to get a package of bees in this thing before the wax moth come, because anywhere where brood was, the bees will come and take this hive, you know, or the wax moth will come and take over this hive. So again, you can see the cappings that they broke off, just robbing it out. Interesting to see there's a worker brood here, if you look at the size of the cells, and then here they're really big ones for the drones, they, and they this is where they're putting the drones down in this hive. You so can see some of these cells are huge. And that, that's really good. So, and think about where this frame was, yeah. right? It was third in. Third in. And that's pretty typical for where they would want to raise their uh, their drone brood. Yep. Yeah, drone on the back too. You know, actually have one that didn't make it. Yep. You can see the little bullet shaped cap. What a mess I'm getting. Give us a chance to clean off the bottom board. Another frame that drawn a little, you know, mostly on one side, not completely, and really not much of anything on the other side. Now, what's your experience with these? These are most likely this way because they're outside frames, right? Plus, yeah. it looks like something you put in later in the season, maybe, and it's between two drawn combs and they never built it out. Now that the nectar flow is coming and they're going to do wax, you put that thing in. They'll probably finish that off, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you think? I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. This is with some really old foundation too that I found up in in the uh, cabin at Echo Hill. Uh, it was ten years old. Yeah. So. You never know with that whether they really have a problem with it for yeah. some reason. Some more pollen on that frame as well. You think it's leftover pollen, or what do you think? Yeah, I do because. It, it, the cluster was up in the top, and I think if they would be storing new pollen, it would have been up in the top adjacent yeah. to the brood nest, right? That's what I would think. So this is, I think, pollen from last year, or at this point, bee bread. All right, I'm going to take the opportunity to clean that bottom board off. Actually, I'm going to take this whole thing down. We have to decide what to do with it. But we've obviously got some nice uh, drawn frames. Yep. And we've got a little bit of pollen in there, and we've got a bunch of frames that are either aren't drawn out at all or are just incompletely drawn out. So those will do with uh, what we want. And we got all this extra honey, which we might as well just give back to the other hives that are yeah. that are going here. So 